Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. For the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have? Angel Spirits Guides message for Cancer please. So I have the Knight of Cups. Very lovely energy. I'm going to clarify the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups for Cancer, please. As an overarching energy, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The one that's turned up right, thank you. We have the Sun. Very good energy together, those. Okay. So message for Cancer, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Cancer, Cancerians. And it will be the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So I've got ask for help. For some of you there may, may well be guidance or advice you need here. And angels, what is the message for cancer, please? Message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you, for the week. What is the message for cancer for the week? Thank you. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I've got gifts from God. And remember, it is whatever God means to you. Archangel Sandalphon, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. During the week, the second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Cancer, please. Angel Spirits Guides, 25th to the 31st of January 2021. What do we have for cancer, please? Thank you. Oh, and we have the Empress as well. So we have the Queen of Wands. Generally, that's Aries for me as a reader. And we have the Empress. Generally, it's Venus and Taurus. Can be a Libra or Taurus there. So we have the Eight of Wands here in the Advice from Spirit. And the Six of Wands. So can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. Gemini card of Capricorn for me as a reader. We have the Eight of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. And the Six of Wands is clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. So Cancer, there is an energy of, sometimes the sun energy is a card of celebration, joy, happiness, um, growth, positivity, warmth, success, call it what you will. And it comes with this Knight of Cups. I feel this Knight of Cups is the gift. It can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It can be in terms of offers, opportunities, something that brings you joy, happiness. It, it feels in this situation something's about to feel good. It promises new growth. I mean, there's generally new growth with this. Things beginning to happen. Uh new life being breathed into what this opportunity brings. The Knight's Brink offers opportunities. So it feels for some of you, I mean, I could read this in terms of love, 
coming through a difficult time in love. It can also be in terms of money career, money career finances. Uh, because it's, it's tied in with this gift that you're being offered. Do you see the cup that you're being offered here? <laughs> I'm definitely seeing that linked with this Knight of Cups. Um, if you've been asking the universe for help, it feels for some of you you're being given a gift. And that's definitely what I'm getting because this is pure divine energy. Uh, the sun is God, the universe, the divine shining on you, bringing you this gift. So it feels very powerful here. Um, and it's a gift. The nights are all about change, something that brings change. The challenge has been to manifest something new. Because the, uh, the Empress can represent bounty, feeling bountifulness, the birth of something new. Um, very good in terms of money career, very good in terms of, of love, romance, relationships. So that's why you can read it both ways here. Um, the Queen of Wands is generally somebody who is in their power, who's a card of action, acting, taking control, taking the lead, something by being in your power. And again, the Queen of Pentacles is a sign of growth, opportunity. Again, both the Queens offer opportunity. Um, can be in terms of money, career, finances. I mean, this could be something that could have affected your relationship as well. You know, it's, it, it definitely feels, in, I mean, she can also be a card of healing, nurturing. So it feels, for some of you, the challenge is this has been blocked. Uh, you, there is a feeling of lack of growth. There is definitely, when she is in the challenge position, feeling lack, not having enough, not feeling the bountifulness, not lacking for anything. She is a wonderful energy of, of feeling everything is provided, you know, feeling the bounty of everything. Can be in terms of money, career, finances, or what that means to you. Um, and it feels like some of you have felt the lack. And again, that Queen of Wands energy can be in terms of feeling powerless, feeling the lack, feeling lack of power and lack of growth. And now you're being told that you're being given a gift from God, the universe, the divine. Well, you are. You are. Because there's definitely an energy of the change is coming. The Eight of Wands can be a card of good news. Um, it is also a card of the shift. The Eight of Wands is a card of fast moving change. Things are about to change in a big way. I mean, the more I read this, the more I feel it's to do with your money, career, finances. You can feel the lack in a relationship as well, so it could well be that as well. Um, because this is the turning point. This is the divine turning point. This is where the wheel ha is turning in your favour. Good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. Uh, things are about to change very fastly, all part of divine timing, divine orchestration. Things happen when they're meant to happen. So again, it might, this feels like either you've been healing. I mean, the, the Hermit card is a card of healing, um, finding it's a card of introspection, finding answers from within on how you need to take action in your external environment. You're being illuminated. You're being guided. You're being lit up. The way is being lit on how you need to take action in your external environment to deal with something that feels overwhelming. And this is somebody who... Even though something feels overwhelming, it's well within their, within their ability to deal with. Um, it can be to do with being f overwhelmed financially. It can be to do with being overwhelmed in a sense that something has thrown your relationship off balance. And it's grappling with it to pull it in balance, you know, healing, finding the light, finding illumination on how you need to deal with it, come through the other side of a situation. And it's within your ability to deal with this cancer. I mean, that's what you're being told. Because for some of you, the Six of Wands is a card of a significant achievement. It's a card of success. 
is a card of victory, recognition. You might be getting recognised here. Um, recognised for the effort, the action that you've been taking. I mean, it can lead to get some public, public recognition. So it could be to do with some kind of offer, opportunity coming to you. Um, can be in terms of, you know, some kind of offering love or message of love. Um, is, is almost kind of like restoring balance, harmony, equilibrium. You know, this is a loving energy, you know, the Knight of Cups. Yeah. So some kind of offer, opportunity. I mean, the Knights are, are generally an energy of, of directions, finding direction, finding direction in terms of what is bringing happiness and joy, um, can be offers, opportunities, or finally finding the direction that is bringing happiness and joy once more. So it definitely feels in this energy, what you've been asking for, if it definitely feels if it's to do with money, career, or grappling with something that has thrown you off balance, there is a newfound happiness coming your way. And that is a lovely energy. Yeah, I mean, I have, I have the Ten of Wands. So challenge, challenge. You've been challenged. I mean, the Ten of Wands is something that's built up over a period of time. And definitely with the Seven of Wands, the message is keep going. This is within your ability to deal with. Because for some of you, the offer, the opportunity. And again, the Knight of Pentacles, again, slightly more commercially led here. But it can also be a healing energy, getting back on track. I mean, the Knight of Cups can also be a card of seeing the beauty again. That could be in a relationship, getting back in a relationship. Or it can be a card of um, an offer, an opportunity that brings you joy, that has some kind of commercial tone to it as well. So very good in terms of money, career, finances. I feel it's linked to this change of fortune. I mean, the, the Wheel of Fortune is the turning point, the ending of one cycle, the beginning of another. It's that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. Uh, and definitely this energy of there is fast change happening. Something out of the blue is bringing positive change to your situation. Maybe some news, communication, um, yeah, it just feels like you have the ability, and it can be by your actions, you're bringing fast change to a situation and getting back on track. But it definitely feels for some of you, someone's going to make you an offer. That's for sure. And know it can, so know it, because it's a gift. It's a gift that is divinely given to you. The sun is pure divine energy. So what you've been asking for help on, help is given to you this week. Feels very beautiful. Okay, so final message for Cancer, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Final message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you. Final message for Cancer, thank you. Let me just shuffle the cards. Okay, final message for cancer, please. Thank you. Okay, yeah. I like this because we have snake, kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. I feel there's been a lot of perseverance um, and you've been tested, but it definitely feels like you're getting on top of a situation now and change is afoot. Two nights, change is afoot. Um yeah, beautiful, beautiful energy. When I see the snake, it is a card of transformation because it's a, shock, it's a card of shedding an old skin, out with the old, in with the new as well for me as a reader. And we have Spider Dreamweaver. Tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? Very, very beautiful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Cancer. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.